and economics major. What else are you involved in besides this team? I am involved in Greek life. I'm the Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity. I am involved in the Wild Pit Marching Band slash Pet Band. Uh, I do Smile Club, which is my Health Awareness Club on campus, Latino Student Union, uh, the Martin Luther King Center on campus. Um, that should be it. Okay. Uh, my name is Anton Hill. Uh, I'm an ICT major and I'm a sophomore here at UK. What else are you involved in besides this team? Uh, I'm also involved in the Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity and the Kentucky Army National Guard. My name is Rena Harrison and I'm a freshman in my major is psychology. What else are you involved in besides this team? Um, I'm a former member of the powerlifting club and I'm a member of the Honors College. My name is Anthony Fannin. I am a sophomore and my major is hospitality and management. What else are you involved in besides this team? Um, I am in the Xavier Tau fraternity. I also was involved in Wildcat Academy, which is a program that like, starts a week before all the regular students get here. I am also involved in uh, the student uh, disabilities program, which is in uh, the Academy Students. How long have you been playing, God? So I've been playing most of my entire life, but it wasn't until I was nine when my dad finally let me have my own account and I really got to play and found this deep love for this game. Was it like starting the team, the program, being so young? You know, um, when I started this team, it started in my first year, like it was like for, I was a freshman, um, so I was building this team from the ground up. The esports club didn't have an interest in Call of Duty, so it was up to me to kind of build everything from the ground up. I rallied people, I rallied my teammates, um, I would send emails, messages, I would get a hold, I would get a hold of club um, club officials and more of like admins to see what I can do. I would I would send reports, I would do everything behind the scenes. It wasn't until this uh, this year, uh, 2020 to 2023 school year that we finally got to play and compete. So Um, from the start, uh, it was it was a little hectic in the beginning, um, but I think we've grown so much uh, just from that. I think our first year we ended up losing pretty much almost all of our games. Uh, there were teams all way ahead of us, way ahead of us. Had more experience, had teams that had been stuck together, you know, forever. So I think though we learned so much from just that. We've started creating new schedules for practice, we're doing stuff in the off-season. I mean, there's so much that we have learned from the beginning to now. So. Okay. Um, tell us about the struggles that have come up with building this team from the ground up. <sighs> there's, there's too many. Um, probably uh, flat, like financial struggles. Monetary funds, whether that's for um, just for the game itself or having access to the game. Um, there's been times where I've had to pay for stuff out of pocket. As mentioned before, lacking lacking tech. Finding the people who want to play. Well, me personally, being so like, being reawakened to Call of Duty, it took me a while to get used to the new game. And then as a team, there's just a lot of like minor errors and just playing against people that are so well put together and just overall having to learn each other's like call outs and how each person plays. Time management, because we're not like other, um, I would say clubs on campus, we're on our own time. We're more of, uh, we get out of class, we have to do our homework, we have to set our own time to play. It's not just like we have a set schedule everything. So I feel like time management is probably the biggest benefactor for us. starting the team with the program being so young? Uh, when Ricky came to me and proposed the idea of starting the Call of Duty team, um, I was kind of bewildered. I was like, well, do we not have a Call of Duty team? It seems, you know, we're such a big university, why do we not have a Call of Duty team? Uh, it just sparked a lot of excitement and a lot of possibilities run through both of our heads on how, how much we could scale this program and where it could go in the future. 
So it does a, it deals a lot with practice. So we all put in a lot of individual time because we're so limited with the space and what we're allowed to use. So when we all practice at home and then come together with a strategy, we're able to grow. What is it like being a part of this new and growing industry, and how do you see it growing? It's it's insane. I think the industry with esports can go so far. Um, there's a lot of money to be made, and a lot of money that has already been made. Um, whether that's with cash prizes, prize pools, um, streams, events. I mean, my goal for esports is just to go above and beyond and be the same level of media as basketball, and football, professional, like with the NBA or NFL. Um, I want to see esports just turn into something way beyond our imagination.